All right, next up we've got a lifter who has determined his own weaknesses, done his own weakness analysis, which is awesome, by the way. I definitely encourage you guys to do that. Get involved in your own training. Figure this stuff out. Uh, so he sent me an email complete with screenshots uh, from his own uh, video analysis and stuff like that. Uh, the long and short of it is, he says his bench weak range of motion is weak right off the chest. And he goes from being a, a fast press to nothing uh, in a very small window. So it's, it's actually very similar to my bench press in terms of performance. Uh, he says his deadlift weak range of motion is right off the floor, just like his bench. Uh, and then his squat weak range of motion uh, seems to be just out of the hole, just uh, kind of in that bottom portion of the squat. Um, so the question is, what modifications do we need to make to training uh, to accommodate these weak ranges of motion? And the answer is none. Uh, these are very, these are typical um, weak ranges of motion. Um, this is what we see most often with raw lifters. So the programs are designed for, for this to take place. Uh, it's designed for these types of lifters who have weak ranges of motion in these spots. So because of that, you don't need to make any changes. It's already designed for you. Um, now, should your weak range of motion change or anything like that, then let me know. We'll have to make some adjustments. But uh, at least in the short term, I don't see that being a problem for you.